Hi everyone, I am Ron and in this video I will present the work Null Text Inversion where we show how to edit real images with diffusion models. Let's start with a short overview. So 2022 was definitely the year of the text guided diffusion models. And surprisingly, even though these models are not designed for image editing, some cool stuff has come out, like being able to edit images using simple text prompts. But this only applies to generated images. How can we edit real images? For this purpose, we design a new inversion scheme for diffusion models, achieving high quality editing without any tuning to the model or the text embedding. Our main observations are to optimize only the null text embedding and use the DDIM inversion as a pivot for the optimization. Now, let's dive into the details. For the few who are not familiar with diffusion models, basically, during inference, random noise is mapped to highly diverse images guided by only text to a sequence of denoising steps. The great work of prompt to prompt shows how to edit generated images by injecting the attention maps obtained when producing the source image. However, real images do not just show up with attention. So editing a real image with such tools requires a process called inversion. Given an input image and textual prompt, we need to find a noise vector which can reproduce the input image when fed to the generator. Then, at inference, we feed this noise vector when using prompt to prompt, resulting in meaningful editing while preserving the appearance of the original image faithfully. Now let's get back to our method, which consists of two components. The first is the pivotal inversion for diffusion. We observed that the other approaches aim to map all noise vectors to a single image during training. This is highly inefficient, as only one noise vector is used at inference. Instead, we use a single noise vector. But how can we get this noise? We first consider the direct DDIM inversion. So without classifier-free guidance, DDIM inversion reconstructs the image well, but it is not editable, as the classifier-free guidance is essential for our editing. Using classifier-free guidance for both inversion and inference completely fails. Using classifier-free guidance only at inference is not accurate, but does provide a pretty good starting point for our optimization. So we use the DDM inversion to produce a latent trajectory from the original image Z0 to a noise vector Zt. Feeding this noise vector to the diffusion process results in distortion when the classifier free guidance is applied, as the latent codes become farther away from the original trajectory. Inspired by the pivotal tuning inversion approach, we consider the DDM inversion trajectory as a pivot and perform our second step optimization around this anchor. More specifically, we aim to bring the diffusion backward trajectory closer to the original image encoding. Ideally, if the trajectory will be identical in both directions, we will get a perfect reconstruction. So, we start with Zt, and for each timestamp, try to get as close as possible to the pivot trajectory. In other words, we perform optimization for each timestamp, where the pivot is the relevant latent code from the DDIM inversion. So, now it is left to show you the optimization itself. Fine-tuning the entire model is highly expressive, but inefficient. Therefore, we design a more efficient approach called null-text optimization. But first, 
I need to explain classifier free guidance. This is an essential component designed to amplify the effect of the text guidance. It consists of performing the prediction twice in each diffusion step, once with the text condition and once unconditionally with no text embedding. These predictions are then extrapolated. While all works concentrate on tuning the model or the condition of prediction, we recognize the substantial effect induced by the unconditional point. Therefore, we only optimize the embedding used in the unconditional part, replacing the no text embedding with the objective of getting closer to the pivot. Putting it all together, we kick things off with ZT, and for each timestamp, tweak the null text embedding to get as close as possible to the latent codes we got from the initial DDM inversion. These optimized embeddings are then used at inference to faithfully reconstruct the image. This results in editing operations which are highly applicable for artistic and photography purposes. And here are more editing examples. Thank you for listening and be sure to check our publicly available implementation and our paper for more details.